Some claim this deeply serious issue is being used as a political football. But he comes into the territory and makes it out like all Territorians, but particularly Indigenous Territorians, are sexual predators roaming our community. During a trip to Alice Springs last week, the opposition leader claimed Indigenous children were being sexually abused at home, accusing both the Federal and Northern Territory governments of failing to act. And you've got kids here tonight who are going to be sexually abused or families where domestic violence has now become a current occurrence. And we're told that nothing can be done about it. But as politicians lock horns, experts say a nationwide crisis of child maltreatment has been ignored for far too long. And both sides of government are to blame. Really there should be a bipartisan commitment to um, ensuring that child wellbeing is a national priority. And unfortunately that hasn't been the case in this country. The latest data from Territory Families shows there were 102 substantiated instances of child sexual exploitation in the NT in 2021 to 22. But a lack of standardised reporting across the nation means it's impossible to compare these rates to other jurisdictions. Mr Dutton has continued calls for a royal commission into Indigenous child sexual abuse. But the commissioner says there's been numerous royal commissions and inquiries into child maltreatment throughout the years. And nothing's changed. It's not that we have a knowledge problem. We actually have a, a, a lack of accountability for action. And that's what we should be focusing our attention on now. Calls for less talk and more action. Charmaine Allison, ABC News, Alice Springs.